All right, so my iOS version is 9.0. I've only done this on my 10.1 device and this 9.0 device. I, I don't know what the installation steps are for um, for if you don't have a computer or if uh, you have something higher than 10.x, such as if you're on jailbroken 11.3 or if you're on at a later date, uh, jailbroken on 12, etc. Okay. So if you're on like iOS 11 or 12 and you're jailbroken, I don't know how to do it on there because I don't have those devices myself to test. And of the friends that I asked to help to test this, they don't have them either. They're either on 8, 9, or 10. So if you guys can help me out with some feedback, that'd be great. You know, this could be like a group collaborate effort. Even though I'm not going to update this mod after this game updates because, oh man, this was just a trial run, just a practice, just to see how much extra work it is to do it in x64 versus doing it in 32-bit. And it's, uh, it's quite a learning curve. It's quite a steep curve. So I wouldn't recommend it to anyone if you don't have to. Unless you wanted to explore that path, that route, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, so let's get on with this. So I'm going to jump back to uh, my home screen. So you guys, you can see the game not installed. Um, again, iOS 8, 9, and 10. This is how I install it. Um, so it, so I'll go to Cydia real quick and just go to my inst install tweaks. The two that you're going to want is uh, Apple file, file Conduit 2, which is going to be what you need to interface with iFunbox. And then AppSync Unified from Karen's or Angel x Wind, I think was her uh, username. Her repo, which is AppSync Unified, so you're going to want that. I'll have the repos linked in the description below. I think Apple File Conduit, I think I, I just got that from the ones that came with Cydia. I think that's just the normal one. So first thing you need naturally is have those tweaks installed. And then open up iFunbox. We'll install it, open it up, and connect your phone to it. And uh, it should be connected like how you see here. So once that's, that's good, I'm going to just go back to the home screen on the iPhone. But uh, go to apps on here and then go to install IPA and then find the folder where you have the, uh, the IPA downloaded at. Uh, mine's already there. But yeah, just find it and then double click it and then let it do its thing. I'm going to fast forward this. And that's it. It doesn't take very long because it's only, pff, what, 80 megabytes or 85 megabytes. As you can see, the game is installed right there. Tab times two. All right, so I'm going to launch that on my iPhone because this is not an emulator. I can't click on it. All right, this is just a, a mirroring thing. All right, accept that. And uh, just start the game up like normal. I got to turn off the sound. Yeah, just start the game up. And I'm not going to go through all the features in here. If you guys want to see all the features, look at the video for Android. When I did the video for 1.12, no, 2.12.1, look at that video. I'll link it in the description below for anybody that wants to watch it. All right. So, yeah, let me just show you all real quick things it's got. All right. Um, power swipe is always active. Uh, get a whole ton of gold when you uh, kill stuff. Like in the previous one, I've been using this, this for three days. You're not going to get automatic teapotted because it doesn't let you go so high to where that happens. But you still can be reported if you do so, uh, stupid things, such as if you reach stage 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and you have no tournaments under your belt. Um, normally, if, for those that don't know, because I didn't explain it before, normally most people, they go through at least one or two months of doing tournaments or just playing the game one or two months before they hit 5,000 stage. With this mod, you can hit 5,000 within a day. Um, so if you join a, pro, uh, a public clan, they look at your stats. You're going to see, oh, stage 5,000, zero or one tournament. I'm going to report this guy. You're going to get banned. That's just how it goes. All right. Once you get banned, you got to make a new account. To make a new account, uninstall the game, reinstall it, and then, and then you're good to go. All right. So, yeah, I just want to make sure you all know that before... You know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Check out the Android video if you guys want to see more information about this and more depth, more uh, um, more glory, I guess. So thanks for checking this out. For those that can get it to work, cool. For those that can't, I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do. All right, then. Bye-bye. Peace out. Later.